My name is Michel Poulain and I work at the Canadian Museum of Nature as a phycologist. Phycology means the study of algae. In the phytoplankton, there are several classes of microscopic algae that are represented. One of these classes are the diatoms. They are the fuel for the aquatic food web. My area of expertise is the polar system, and more precisely, the Canadian Arctic. We have the advantage of using a platform for field work, which is a Canadian Coast Guard icebreaker that has been retrofitted with state-of-the-art scientific equipment on board. When we are on a scientific expedition, we tend to stay there a maximum of six weeks. And the ship has to be self-sufficient in terms of uh, food, even uh, medical support. When I'm working with the phytoplankton, we have to use some specialized instrumentation. One instrument is called a rosette. The rosette is a metallic uh, structure holding in a circle a sampling bottle which has a capacity of about 12 liters each. When we are lowering down this big rosette that holds about 24 bottles, it just go down into the water column and electronically from the deck we can just close a specific bottle at a specific water depth to collect the phytoplankton that are living at that depth and we do that up to uh, up to the surface there's a suite of probe underneath the rosette that can measure the salinity of the water same thing with the water temperature can also give uh, estimation of some nutrient level in the water system, as well as the ox oxygen. So there's a different probe needed for us to at least knowing at one station what is more or less the, the environmental condition in which we are taking our phytoplankton sample. It helps to understand what's there. So this is first part of knowing the biodiversity. Those diatoms, in addition with the phytoplankton in general, they form the first layer of the, of the Arctic food chain. What I like the most when I'm doing field work, it's being outside. So it's being uh, working hard days, 